Hi, this is a quick refresh on the Make Play Live add-ons app for Plasma Active. If you haven't seen the previous screencast on this app uh, that kind of goes through the entire application, I really recommend doing that because I'll be just showing a few newer things uh, that have changed. So I'm starting again from the I just started from scratch uh, screen. I will put in my email. And again, you only have to do that once on the device, then it remembers your account. And only if you come into the account and go to disconnect it, um, it'll ask you a question. It's actually one of the neat things we have now is this really nice uh, standardized inline points at what you've just clicked on or, or pressed um, confirmation. Um, only when you disconnect the account do you actually need to then re-enter it. And usually if it's your device, you'll just put your account in once and, and away you go. Um, after you've put in your account, when you start the application a second time, it simply logs you in directly. And there seemed to be some confusion over that in my last screencast, so I thought I'd clarify. Um, at this point, everything in the application works. You can redeem points codes, you can purchase uh, points with a credit card. Um, so we actually have the ability to register a payment method. The payment method is stored uh, on a secure server that's been gone. It's been through all the necessary audits to qualify for storage in the US. It's actually not our server, but a third party service that uh, we use, um, Stripe, and they've got a very, very good reputation and track record. Um, so, and of course, you can also remove your information if, if you wish after purchasing. And you don't have to put in a payment method unless you actually decide, you know, decide to purchase points. So, I'll go back now to the main area and you can see one of the changes right now I downloaded a, just a uh, minute or two ago a ebook um, American Men of Mind and if I click on it I can then of course see it and I can read the book if I so wish so this is a nice feature because if you're you know going through and looking at things and you know deciding what you may or may not want to download and then you're you know, or if, and especially if it's a large application um, or large piece of content that you're downloading, it may take a while, especially if you don't have a great internet connection, which is very common, I find, when I'm going about with my device. Um, you may f forget what you've downloaded or you want to come back to it later. And so this downloads link lets you really quickly see the status of all of your downloads. If I had more than one, it would show it here. Um, let's see if I can do it quickly. I'm on a pretty good connection, so it might be a little bit hard. Yeah, it's already done, <laughs> but um, it would it actually shows the progress, and then you can actually go in and look at everything that you've downloaded during this session and open it up, in this case, read the book and whatnot. So uh, we've kind of brought everything together um, in terms of polishing the last bits up of the application. Um, the inline um, confirmations exist for uh, all sorts of things. So if you go to purchase um, a... Uh, a asset, so a book or an app or whatever, uh, it actually will confirm, you know, give you, show you that same little nice little confirmation dialogue and say, do you really want to do this? Um, and this is actually a, will be a standardized component that will be available to other applications in the future as well on the platform. Okay, that's about it. Just wanted to give a really quick update um, as to where we are with it. Cheers.